Hello. We are continuing to read from the New Testament book of 1 Peter chapter 2. Today we will be looking at verses 11 through 17. It is Saturday, August the 12th, and this is the Greenbrier Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion. Dear friends, I urge you as foreigners and exiles to abstain from sinful desires which, raise, which wage war against your soul. Live such good lives among the pagans that, though they accuse you of doing wrong, they may see your good deeds and glorify God on the day he visits us. Submit yourself for the Lord's sake to every human authority, whether to the emperor or to the, as the supreme authority, or to governors who are sent by him to punish those who do wrong and to commend those who do right. For it is God's will that by doing good you should silence the ignorant talk of foolish people. Live as free people, but do not use your freedom as a cover-up for evil. Live as God's slaves. Show proper respect to everyone. Love the family of believers. Fear God. Honor the emperor. And this is the word of the Lord. Our article today is Teach to God's Glory by Matt Price. John Wesley, as a young scholar at Oxford University, invited a few classmates to gather regularly to discuss theology and read the Bible together. They developed a method for living each day in as godly a manner as they knew how. Their pious behavior spurred scoffers and opposition from fellow classmates. These young men cared for the poor and imprisoned, taught ungovernable orphans, and sought to transform society as much as their own hearts. The one undeniable witness for Christians is the way in which we live. This is the content of the faith, what fills the heart and minds of every disciple. It is a lesson plan for the good life. It is not hard for unbelievers to find the good news if they see it lived out every day. This method for living in Christ likeness is most evident in how one submits to the authorities of this world. Not to act resist to their influences or gain respect, but to love as though everyone is deserving and all are welcome into the kingdom of God. The sinful power structures of this world will crumble before the freedom of God's people who submit, show respect, and give honor even when it is not deserved. Hal Dort Linnaeus wrote the hymn for today, Under the Atoning Blood, Grace Has Changed the World I'm Living In. And from 1 John chapter 2, verses 5 and 6, This is how we know we are in Him. Whoever claims to live in him must live as Jesus did. And that's your daily devotion for Saturday, August the 12th. Have a blessed day.